Okay, what's up everybody? Uh, I'm gonna do a video today on uh, just showing you guys a uh, few girls that ovulated and what I bred them to and when we should be expecting some eggs, hopefully pretty soon. So, it was off to a little bit of a slow start this year. A lot of my girls are going, uh, they're going a little bit later in the season. So as you can see, nothing's in the incubator yet that's not even actually running yet. I ran it for three days and it was holding temps really well for all you guys that were wondering how this was going to work. Um, I didn't have any uh, vermiculite in the tubs or anything like that, but I checked all different levels and we were getting pretty much spot on temps minus, you know, maybe a degree or less top to bottom. So it's really good. I'm happy about that. Uh, it's a big relief so uh, I already showed you guys this girl this is uh, my pastel female who she already had her pre lay shed roughly about a week ago so we should be expecting some eggs in about you know three weeks or so somewhere around there she was bred to the sugar and I'm expecting a fairly large clutch from her she was uh, 3,300 grams at the beginning of the breeding season, so she's a very big girl. Um, then we got this girl here. For now, she's just a normal female, big. Uh, I think she was around 3,200 grams. Um, I've had suspicions over the last couple years, maybe, possibly, she might be a vanilla. Um, she's she's a wild caught girl, so this year I bred her to the fire, so we'll find out for sure this year what's going on with her. If, if not, no big deal, you know, I don't got high hopes or nothing. But uh, she came from a friend of mine, and uh, he did get one clutch from her, and she threw some really, really strange looking babies. I got a clutch from her last year, it was from a bumblebee, I held back one bee, and... You know, it's hard to tell kind of pastel vanillas too. Some of them are, you know, the lower end ones are hard to tell. But this year for sure, she bred the fire. So if she is a vanilla, we will hopefully see a vanilla cream in there. It would be really sweet. And I'd also have my own line of vanilla then too. So like I said, not huge hopes or nothing. But, you know, I can prove out my suspicions for sure this year. So she did ovulate about three days ago. As you can see, she's bulged up pretty big right there doing the tail suck so that's uh, girl number two she's starting to go into her shed right now the next couple weeks um, this girl also ovulated about a few days ago Spider female, you can see the scale separation there. She's absolutely huge. So that uh, that's a that's a relief there. I'm glad she went. She went a little bit later in the season last year, so I wasn't really expecting her to go this early. She was bred to the Phantom and the Sugar. At this point, I really don't like to mess with them too much. Just kind of let them do their thing. They're all very uncomfortable right now. Those big ovulations. So that's uh, three girls that have ovulated. And then this is the fourth one here. That is my Enchi 100% Het Pied. She ovulated about a week ago and just starting to go into her shed. As you can see, when they go into their ovulations, they just go straight for these water bowls and they just hang around them steady. So she she was about, I believe, 15, 1600 grams when she ovulated. And she was bred to a pied, so fingers crossed that we hit an edgy pied out of her would be absolutely amazing. I would have some huge plans if that happened. So that's four ovulations down. Um, then basically I got my lesser girl up here. 
she just went on a feeding frenzy for uh, roughly about the last month and she just shed and she's not really showing any interest in food no more so that I think it was her you know little little feeding frenzy before she's gonna you know start building some follicles and stuff like that and hopefully we see an ovulation out of her a little bit later in the season she's a virgin girl 2010 um then we got another big girl here she just recently went off food too and i believe she was about 2500 grams so i'm hoping something's gonna go down with her i just she's a different little bit of a different looking normal she's got you know a little bit of flaming going on and uh, i bred her to the yellow belly and the sugar then the mojave i'm a little i'm not sure if she's gonna go at this point I would absolutely love to see an ovulation out of her. I thought she was building and ready to ovulate about three weeks ago. And then she shed. And she definitely didn't ovulate. So it might have just been a pre-ovulation shed. Because she's locked up with the Phantom about ten times. And uh, the, the weird thing is it looks like none of my normal girls are going to go this year. Which isn't really a huge deal. They all lay 10 plus eggs, but to be honest, after this season, I'm going to get them all fattened back up again. They're all about 3,000 grams. I'm going to sell them all off. So if anybody in Canada is looking for some huge normals that lay 10 plus eggs, let me know. Um, then we got, these are kind of the ones that I'm going to expect to go a little bit later in the season. There's a super pastel female. She was breeding the phantom all season. Right now she's in with my sugar. Everything I bred the phantom to hasn't ovulated yet. So I'm kind of at the point right now where I'm going to use my backup male and kind of just rotate back and forth between my backup and, my, and the phantom. Because I don't know if he's uh, just shooting blanks or what's going on with him. But... I did pop him and he's producing sperm plugs and he's a 2011 great breeder. He just hasn't got any girls to ovulate yet. So, uh, Cinnamon female. She goes a little bit later in the season. Her too. She's just been feeding like crazy and just recently went off. Um, she's been breeding the yellow belly and yellow belly in the fire. I did want to put the pewter hat clown to her, but uh, he just doesn't show any interest really in any females right now. So that, that idea kind of got scratched. And then this girl here, this is a this is a 2011 bumblebee female. I had absolutely no interest in breeding her this year, but she's 1,500 grams. Um, she's been bull wrapping non-stop and uh, just laying inverted she's been showing signs like crazy like she wants to breed so I threw one of my power breeders in there my fire mail in with her and my enchi mail in with her and sure enough as soon as I threw them in her tail was wagging like crazy and uh, they were locked up all night so if she goes she goes type thing no high hopes again with her but uh, yeah, that's about it. What else? Yeah, I think that's about it. Uh, yeah, so thanks for watching. Uh, about uh, So three weeks, we'll start getting some clutches. And we'll start filling that incubator up. I'm getting really pumped now. It's good to see some more girls ovulating. And we'll see what happens. Fingers crossed uh, and some good clutches this year. So I'll keep you guys informed and thanks for watching.